On Friday, they were your game of the week. Now, today, we're proud to present the Northrop Bruins as your first 2020-2021 Team of the Week presented by Ops, head coach of the Northrop Bruins, Coach Jason Dorfler. Coach, the first time Northrop has ever beating home, beat Homestead in program history. What did you like about week one's performance from your team? Well, we, we fell down 21-6. to six. Uh, We battled back. We scored right before half, and, and there was just never any quit. We, we ended up shutting them out in the second half, and, uh, you know, they, we, we just continually had to grind and grind and grind and will our way to the victory, and, and that's, that's the most gratifying thing, the perseverance, the, uh, the never quit attitude of, of our guys. Now, Coach, you mentioned the shutout in the second half, but also a senior on the offensive side, Demarius Cowan. What a big night for him. 276 yards rushing, four touchdowns. What can you say about his performance? Yeah, he was, he was, he was outstanding. And uh, we want to run the ball. Everybody knows that. And, uh, and we still got, got, the, uh, got the job done on the ground. So uh, I think we rushed for 340 yards, and he had 276 of those. And um, it was an excellent performance from our offensive line. Uh, you know, we, we had some timely third down conversions and pass, uh, uh, pass completions, and it was just an overall great performance. Coach, one thing that caught my eye was at the end of the game, you had your whole team around, and you had a message for them. You said, don't let this be the peak of your season. Kind of walk me through what that meant and how it's always important to be continuously growing. Sure. I mean, it's so early in the season, uh, and, and to be quite honest with you, there's a lot of areas that we can still improve upon, and uh, the film shows that, and, and we got to understand it's week one. Homestead's a good team, and it's a great win. Uh, but we got to get better, and, and uh, we were in a similar position two years ago. We we upset Carroll here at our place, and uh, we followed that with three straight losses. So we don't want that to happen again. We w we want to kind of keep getting better and better, and uh, use this as a uh, as a uh, step forward. A big defensive performance right there. Another big defensive performance on Friday night, holding Homestead scoreless in the second half. What went into that effort? Uh, no, nah, halftime we just we knew we made mistakes. Team came together. Some new. We had a very good team chemistry this year, so we came in with a mentality to shut them out second half, and we executed. What was Dorfler's message at the halftime? Um, he just let us know we're in the game, and we can beat these guys. So we came in there ready to play. Came in ready to work hard. Let them know that we're here this year, and we executed the game plan, and we won the game. What's going to be the key into advancing forward to this season, keeping that same momentum week in, week out? Um, just coming to practice, ready to work. Got to work hard. The way you practice is the way you play. And uh, Dorf has been telling us that for the past years. And we've got a group of guys that's ready to listen, and we just execute. Maybe not only, the, not only the defense, but also just in general, what makes this Northrop Bruins team special? Um, we're a family. Uh, we, we don't want to see nobody down. We want to see nobody hurt. We take pride in, in having each other backs, and that's just something that we want to continue to do the whole year. So, Demarius, huge night for you on Friday night, 276 yards rushing, four touchdowns. Have you had a chance to kind of take a deep breath and reflect on your big night? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, there was a lot going on after the game. Um, my comments and stuff, my uh, Facebook, Instagram was blowing up. Uh, you know, it, it was good. It was a good feeling. You know, you seem to, when there's a challenge put in front of you, you seem to rise to the occasion. What's your motivation when it's just you and a defender keeping you from getting into that end zone? Where does that motivation come from for you? It's honestly like, I, I don't care who's on defense. It's just mostly like you're, you're on defense and you better do your job or else I'm just going to make you look silly. So <laughs> that's, how, that's how I think of it. Now, Northrop's offense definitely did their part on Friday night, but also the defense stepping up in the second half. You saw right there, it's not easy to get past this defense on this team. I mean, what can you say about the guys on the other side of the ball? Man, they they know what they're doing. They've been doing their homework. Uh, we got a group chat. They was like, hey, Homestead does this, Homestead does that. And I was just like, I was so happy because they're actually doing their homework and they're they're ready. They, they want to be ready for the game. And I'm just glad that they're getting their job done. As a senior, being a leader on this team, what did you like out of this team from week one? Just coming together. We're, we're brothers. We've, we've been fighting for a long time, and we're we just ready to show everybody that um, heart and determination and teamwork goes a long way. 
it, it's tough to ask anybody to put up 250 plus yards a game, you know. So that's a little that's a little hard to ask of anybody. But what is it going to take to keep you on the consistent growth of the season to keep putting up, you know, relatively same performances that you did in week one? I just gotta stay conditioned. I, I gotta bring it every every day of the week until until Friday, and um, I just got I just gotta keep working hard. I gotta keep working hard and just. Um, Always being on keen when I'm in uh, when I'm in the backfield. Good deal, Demarius. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the Northrop Bruins. They're your OPS team of the week. Yes, sir. Northrop Bruins.